Hello, Gemini, and welcome to Gemini Soul. This is your mid-month reading, guys. I hope all of you are doing great. Guys, this is the energy that came out when I got ready to do your reading. This may not resonate with all of you, but if it does, I ask that you give me a thumbs up, share, just subscribe, let me know what you're going through, help the other Geminis out there, okay? I'm sorry if this doesn't resonate with you, perhaps on the next one, okay? Gemini, let's just get into this energy. Let's get into it now. Your cards that came out from a uh, higher self, this is energies within yourself. Your first card came out was love. I feel that some of you are definitely working with a connection. If not, it's love within itself, balancing things. You're doing a whole lot of soul searching. This is what I'm hearing, Gemini, that you are doing a lot of soul searching. With this soul searching, you're realizing what you truly love, what you put into certain situations, what you have not been putting into certain situations, your boundaries. I'm feeling like there's a situation going on. Perhaps it could deal with a commitment. And uh, some of you are dealing with what it is you truly want. And I just heard some are not accepting nothing less, okay? The light is the next card that came out. I feel there is something within you, your heart, your mind, your soul. Rather, this is inspiration for what you really truly want to move forward to, what you want to be committed to what you don't want to be committed to. I feel like you're so balanced right now. Like if you've been through hard times and relationships, jobs, commitments, whatever, financially, there's a light shining through you, Gemini, and you will not settle for less. It's like, if it doesn't show up, that lights my heart up, that shows me this is a commitment, this person is serious, they're going to be able to respect me, they're going to enjoy my energy, just what you're bringing to the table, you are not accepting less. This is what I'm hearing. So a lot of you, I feel, have went through a transformation. All right, the eclipse has probably brought things into your life and it probably eclipsed some things out of your life. With that eclipse, I also feel that you have been enlightened. And this enlightenment, Gemini, you know, we talk about uh, the two Geminis matching, meeting, coming to an understanding of what really completes the both of them and will not settle for less. This is what I'm hearing as I put your cards down. It's like you are taking a stand, you are putting your foot down, you are realizing energies around you that no longer serve you, you understand they had to leave, you understand you had to leave, you understand that at the end of the day, you have to be happy. You got to be in a peaceful mindset within yourself, okay? We also have the card come out, which is acceptance. Gemini, you are accepting you for exactly who you are. If you're not, you are on that road to it. This is your mid-month, April, but you guys, please, don't even go with the dates. If you're guided to this reading, then there is a message here for you whenever you receive this message. And this is acceptance. Gemini, you struggle with the way you show up in the world. And now a lot of it is because of naysayers, is because of the way people say, oh, you're in and out of energy, you're two people, one minute you love them, the next minute you hate them, the next minute you're working with them, the next minute you're not working with them, so what? You are accepting who you are, you're accepting your journey, you're accepting where you want to go. I feel that you have truly with this eclipse went through a transformation. I feel with this acceptance, some of you have found yourself looking in the mirror and saying, you know what? You either accept me for who I am or the hell with you. This is what I'm hearing. This is, I hope they do not flag my video, but I have to tell you what I'm feeling. 
Some of you are looking in the mirror, you are changing your hair, you're changing your style, you're on diets. Some of you choose to stop drinking some, or choosing, I'm sorry, but this is what I'm hearing. Some of you are starting to feel that you need to celebrate yourself more. And maybe it's a glass of wine. Whatever you do to celebrate yourself, rather you feel that there is something within you that needs to come forth that you have been hiding or holding back when it comes to your feelings and your emotions. Some of you Geminis have been out of your element because of the naysayers, because of people saying how you showed up. This is acceptance, Gemini, of you. They're either going to love you or they're going to hate you, honey. They're, not everyone's going to love you and not everyone's going to hate you. But you have come to the realization that at the end of the day, it is how you feel within yourself when you look into that mirror. Both Geminis, okay? Both sides. Now, Gemini does struggle because I am feeling like some of you struggle with the way you show up, okay? You may have a way you show up for the family. You have a way that you show up when it's just your time and you want to just be free and do you. And this is what I'm hearing. It's not for all you Geminis, but then there are some ways that you want to show up in relationships, whether you want to be full committal, whether you want a friendship, you want somebody that is more on your level, and sometimes you even deal with people that you know have some, I feel like, feel that some of you Geminis deal with people out of pity, okay? But I feel that when you feel you're working with people out of pity, it's because you only want them to grow. You only want them to prosper. So those people out of pity, you may say things that you wish you could have taken back, Gemini, okay? But I feel that you never said it to be manipulative. You never tried to break people down. You only wanted to build them up. And sometimes that didn't work. So some people do feel that you're kind of quick at the tongue. You say anything and they could be kind of heartbroken because everyone is not available for the truth, Gemini. I feel... Right now, all I hear you saying, Gemini, is make it make sense. If it doesn't make sense to you, then you have something to say. If it's nothing to say, you're walking away. That is what I'm hearing. The light is shining within your heart, your mind. I don't feel that this is manipulative. I feel that this is a time that you feel that you have some type of change or transformation within your own heart and soul and you are expecting people to show up and match you at that energy or you're just not going to deal with them i feel that you also understand the the understanding of uh having relationship with people but having it to uh the the fact that or, or the point that you have boundaries it's like i feel some of you gemini's are putting up strong boundaries right now like I can hang with these people, maybe when you want to go out and you want to have a good time, but you know that they don't have the mindset for stability, relationships, or love, or commitment, or financial. Um, it's just a joyful time. I feel you are putting people, Gemini, in their spaces right now. This is what I hear. That if there's love included, then you're going to accept love. But that love that you accept is going to be respectful. It's going to be loving. It's going to be opening to your heart and your mind. You're not going to be in your mind about this situation. You're not going to be doubting yourself about, it, about yourself. Because sometimes love can make you feel as if you're not giving enough, Gemini. And sometimes love can make you feel like you're giving too much. And I feel you are putting people in their place. With the light, I feel that it is shining on you on all of these different dynamics. Sorry, guys. Retro gray. It should be over by now, but I don't know. Anyway, I feel that 
there's a light shining in on maybe even people that you always saw had your back. Maybe people you had held in higher power, whether it's a boss, someone that was a mentor towards you, someone that you depended on, um, that you're seeing that at the end of the day, you were their strength. You were their light, right? They enjoy being around your light. And I think that at some point in time, Gemini, you had to come to a recognition to say, I am making a difference. I am making a difference. Rather people feel I'm a little slick at the mouth, rather people feel that I don't engage in much in certain situations, or I'm hearing sometimes gospel a little too much about certain things that could eventually cause confusion in a situation or a group. Now, Gemini, I don't know how this is going to resonate with you, but I feel there's acceptance of you for exactly who you are. It's like, baby, accept me, see me, want me, love me, care for me, be friends with me, like me or not. I feel that the acceptance is you saying, I don't care. I don't care. How you show up is how I'm going to show up. I feel, Gemini, you are matching energies now. And you're known for that air sign, to match energies. If someone comes off to you deceptive, I'm not saying you're going to be deceptive, but I promise you it won't have a good outcome for them, okay? It's like you're not playing the games anymore. You're not going to be downgraded. You're not going to be upgraded. You're not going to be coming down to a level that you know you're not. You have dreams. You have goals. And that if they don't match it or meet you halfway, you are looking in the other direction because you have really found out that at the end of the day, all the power and stability comes from within you. I feel that Gemini right now, the acceptance is that you are powerful. You have a light inside, inside of you that shines. It gravitates people towards you, whether it's financial I'm sorry, this is what I'm hearing. Some situations people gravitate towards you because of financial. You have a strong mind. You can come up with uh, how to rob Peter and pay Paul. Uh, you like investments. You At the job, you can come up with ideas that they hadn't thought of, whether they want to give you the credit for it or not. You have some people around you that just feels like you have it so easy also, Gemini. they like, how do you gracefully continue to move forward? Even when some... I feel like some people watching you and it's like, I know you were at rock bottom. I don't know who this is for. But Gemini, some people feel that they know you shouldn't be where you are. At least that's what they feel. But they don't know what you went through. Maybe there was classes, training, certificates, something that you motivated yourself to do. Now, yes, Gemini is sometimes known to start a project and not complete it or start a project. And when they feel like they mastered, they move on to the next. Some people have a fear of that Gemini because they know that what you do could possibly affect their futures, but that's a they problem. That's not a you problem, Gemini. And I feel you're coming out of a they problem to <laughs> um, that's not a me problem. That's what I'm feeling. Like you accepting love if it come in your way and it's equal and it's balanced and it's care and it, and it brings all that joy and happiness to you. You are accepting them for exactly who they are. The light is being shown on the ones that needs to be there and the ones you need to be letting go. I feel that the way that the light is coming in is the acceptance of you. How does someone make you feel? Okay, how do they show up? Do they accept you for the beautiful, caring person that you are? Do they also accept you when the times is you have to be straight as a sword to explain to them it doesn't make sense? People have to accept you and all of your elements, okay? And that is what I'm feeling you're going through right now. I feel the eclipse had a big 
change on the focus of your mindset. Not so much as everyone around you, but it is a mindset of seeing things clearly. The light has shined. I also feel there was something you was not aware of that you are now aware of and you already know. You already know. You're like, I've been struggling with this situation for quite some time, but now I have the clarity and the understanding exactly what I need to do. That's what I'm here. It said help is on the way. I feel also, Gemini, you got help is under the way as the overall energy when I was in your energy. I feel that you may have felt at some point in time, no one could help you. Like those was your decisions this is how you felt about it. And the only person could do it is you. Gemini, the universe is saying, no, we're sending you someone in that they can help you. But you're going to have to be open to it. What is the problem with Gemini being open to it? We do have the card underneath anger. Gemini, you are sick and tired of dealing and working with people that somehow becomes envy of you somehow um they get along with you for a certain length of time and then they're spacing from you and then they don't get you and then you have to put them in a place and you get angry they don't understand what's the duality in you gemini and the duality is i'm angry because i help and I do the best I can out of love, commitment, and support. I'm here and supportively. People can come to you and need help, whether there's a budget or borrowing financially, or they're in a relationship or just whatever. They don't want to hear the truth, but they want to hear the truth, okay? Gemini, I feel you may have some anger inside of you because you feel like you've supported people in so many ways. And some people have backstabbed you. Some people gossip about you. You found out a secret of someone gossiping about you and you could never believe that they would be the one. You also found out that someone you really cared for was still doing something manipulative behind your back. And it doesn't make sense to you after all that you put forth energy into a relationship. If it's not, and I'm not saying all these are love relationships, this could be family, okay? You could have supported a family to a certain amount, and then you come to find out that all the gossip is about you and your direction and how you're moving when you were there for someone. This is what I'm hearing, Gemini, okay? The other card, and I'm just going because the Spirit is telling me, listen, listen, Gemini. Not only do you need to listen to what's going on outside of you, but you're going to listen to the little voice inside of you that says, no, we're not going that away. No, we're not investing in that anymore. No, we're not going to let them manipulate us. No, we're not going to support them because at the end of the day, I've only come to a conclusion that supporting this situation only makes me feel less than. So this is you coming to acceptance of anything that does not make you feel fully happy, joyful, committed, prosperity, abundance, security, success. You are cutting it off. No more games, Gemini. No more letting people be manipulative. No more letting people judge you. This is what I'm hearing. And the universe is all you need. And we have nature there under the bottom. Very grounded. The universe wants you to get grounded. The universe wants you to understand that they are here. There's a path. And that the main thing you need to know is help is on the way. Some of you Geminis are in a spot where there's a decision that needs to be made. You're not clear. The only reason you're not clear is because you've brought up so much doubt and what you have accomplished and what you've done. And you're afraid to make the next move because you don't want to fail. You don't want to make the first next move because there's someone that you care a lot about. Or maybe you hold in high regard of how they're going to judge you. This is not about other people judging you, Gemini. This is about you judging yourself. Knowing what you deserve, knowing the respect that you have for yourself, lessons that you learn and you are not 
to sit up here and let someone pretty much push you off the path of love. Some of it is love. It's a relationship. I hear gossip. Oh, Gemini's in this relationship. Gemini's in that relationship. They was just in a relationship last year. This is a new relationship. Guess what? That's a, their problem and not yours. It doesn't matter how many relationships you're in. It's not, it doesn't matter how many disconnection connections that you release. If it doesn't feel good to you, you have a right to stand your ground and have your boundaries. The light is coming in. Gemini, you're going to have to, when it comes to love, there's a sacrifice. This is what I'm hearing. There's a sacrifice and that sacrifice is you. Okay? That's what I'm hearing. Sacrifice to let something go for the happiness and joy commitment of your own mindset and your heart. It is time for your heart to be uncluttered. Yes, you have been through some things. You've made a journey through, but you've balanced yourself out. You've worked through it the best you knew how, Gemini. And you deserve acknowledgement for that within yourself. The world doesn't have to acknowledge that. But I feel you have some spirit guides, guides around you that says the light and accept you for exactly what you've been through and maybe even what you may be going through, all right? Because I feel like there may be a mountain or obstacle or choice in front of you and it has been the hardest thing for you to decide. You've been straddling the fence and the thing is the universe is saying you have everything you need to move forward. You don't have to depend on anyone. You're very dependent. Okay. What you have or accomplished, you have worked for. No one give given it to you. No one has given it to you, Gemini. Oh, this retro is killing me. But I'm hearing no one has given anything to you. Stop feeling like because of this person came in your life. Or because of your mother, or because of your father, or because of your sister, or your brother, whoever it is that you feel committed to owe someone something or to pay something back. And I feel there's a debt that you don't have to pay back that has been holding you back because there may be someone you're holding in high regards. That's what I'm hearing. Let's get. Let's get some terror out here and see what this is all about, Gemini. Because I am truly here and there's love all around you. There's clarity all around you. There's acceptance all around you. And there is a new path, a new road. And, and also that there is someone or could be a community place. When I say community... I feel like there may be like you have some new friends coming, come your way, but I also feel that you may be guarded. You may be checking them out, right? Like I don't want to repeat it. Some of you had a friend in your life for a very long time and you finally seen the truth. You seen the light in it. Yeah. I'm just telling you three of cups. When it comes to love, there is someone you're committed to. It doesn't have to be a love relationship. It could be a family member that you're so committed to. But this person wants just to celebrate and have a good time with you. I'm also hearing there may be someone, Gemini, that you don't trust. But this person just wants to celebrate with you. They just want to be a part of your life. They want to be uh, in your energy. Um... But I'm also hearing that there was a time of celebration in which you may have celebrated with this person and someone didn't turn out to be what you thought, right? But you got love for them and you're going to have to love them from a distance. Not that you have to leave them, Gemini, but you got somebody that you're going to have to love from a distance. Oh, this is a lot. Do I take it all? Spirit says yes. We have the eight of pentacles in reverse. The spirit is telling you, no more work on things that don't show up, that truly completes you. Love. It's clarifying love. No more work on trying to balance yourself out to maybe, maybe you feel you have to be the center of attraction. There was something, maybe you have to pay the bill when you're going out. Every time you went out, 
Gemini, they knew Gemini had it, right? So Gemini would pay the bill, the celebration, all the celebration on you. I'm hearing some of you this year for your birthday, you will not be paying for it. Okay. Maybe when you have your celebrations, you are the one always paying for your celebration. Okay. This is them people coming out wanting to celebrate you, but you spend the most, not this year. Not, I feel like this is a different year. This is a new upcoming, a new, you know, seeing like, I'm not about to pay people's way to be my friend. Also, yeah, people are just your friend because you put so much and invested. And I feel this time they're going to see a new you. No, man. Why? Because you've been enlightened. Because you're accepting that you are abundant. You have it, but you can decide on how you want to use it. And you don't have to do it to buy friends, Gemini. And I don't know what Gemini's that is, okay? I'm a cusper. But I don't know what Gemini feel like they need to buy friends. Oh, okay. So I'm just hearing something else, Gemini. Maybe it's not necessary that you buy friends. There's a certain outcome that you want. If you want it eloquent, if you want it in the nicest place, you will go out of your way to ensure everyone have a good time. And I'm feeling that this year, you need to let people that love you stand up and do you a celebration. That's what I heard. That's what I heard, Gemini. Let's keep going. What else? Oh, mm. yeah, we have the devil. See, this is the toxic behavior. This is the, I consider it the Down syndrome. This is people saying, oh, well, what does this change? No, the change is I am no longer being committed to this toxic behavior of feeling less than, or I got to support the whole team, right? So now they're going to feel like you're pulling your energy back. You're not acting right. Well, you're only pulling it back for the ones that feel connected and bound to you. Maybe even codependency. I'm even feeling like, Gemini, some people you have been paying away for far too long. And this is a codependency. You are enabling people. Stop it. This is what I'm hearing. This change needs to happen. You paying light bills or gas bills or somebody needs some and they call you or they have an event. And I said, <laughs> this is what I'm hearing, Gemini. Come on, spirit. Like you invited to a party, but you got the most expensive dish. Really? That's codependency. They're going to throw a party, but they're going to invite you because guess what? You're bringing the main important dish. And without that dish, there's nothing. Some of you, you are not partying. Uh, some of you chose to not drink as much. Uh, maybe you had a smoking problem. Whatever this is, whatever this codependency. Uh, some of you had a friendship that you just could not release. And you knew that friendship was no good for you. You knew it. You knew you was bound to it. I'm hearing two, three, four, five years. You were bound to a connection that was not healthy. And you're coming out of that. You're not putting the work in to celebrate with them no more. They won't even be at your next party. I'm hearing this space. Some of you already cleared it. This is what I'm hearing. When it comes to love, you are truly looking to what has kept you bound. Some of these are past relationships that, okay, Gemini, now y'all know I got to tell you how I see it, right? And don't come for me. Some of these relationships you kept for a reason. <laughs> At least you thought you was keeping them for a reason. But you've been enlightened about them. They're toxic. You, There's no use for it. It's codependency. Even Some of them have kept you codependency. You've trusted and believed in a certain way that you wanted someone to show up or in the situation. And you've become codependency on the situation. But And some things you've worked on a whole lot. When it comes to friends and commitments. But the eight of pentacles in reverse is like, devil, go away. Like, I am not. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. I'm not going to put no more work into your energy. Rather, I, I've been. I'm hearing. In very bad situations. And I've brought all of that energy with me. You're clearing it. 
Because you're no longer entertaining the devil. Where he comes, if some of you have been trying to, and this is what I'm hearing, it's not with all Gemini's. Some of you say like, you know what? I haven't been focusing like I need to, right? I've been focusing on things outside of me. It doesn't feel good. I know it doesn't feel good, but I kept doing it. Whether it's drugs, it's alcohol, whether it's a community, whether it's friends, whether it's a job, maybe even your mindset. He was like, it hasn't been balanced. It hasn't been right. And you are no longer putting energy into that because you want to be happy. And when it comes to love, if there's been some situation, okay, not for all Gemini's, some of you've been trying to match the devil's energy. No, 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 Gemini. So somebody does something to you, you match their energy back. Now, Geminis are known for matching the energy you bring, but you realize, you know what? And now all of a sudden, the Eight of Pentacles is upright. I feel like, you know, even though it came in reverse, I'm going to leave it. But I feel like they're no longer entertaining that. You're like, I don't have a point to prove to anyone. If you want to cheat, I don't have to cheat back on you. You only actually causing more karma because Gemini, I feel that I got to tell y'all what I'm hearing. There may have been times where you put work into someone due to the fact of how someone showed up to you and you may have brought karma upon yourself because hurt people hurt people and you accepting that. But the thing is you are now understanding and realizing you no longer want to be a part of that. Like, I don't need to get you back. What I'm going to do is release your energy, right? I'm going to release you in love, love you from a distance. Some people, and some people are just cutting off completely. It does not bring celebration and joy and happiness and commitment to your heart. What is next? That's right. You're going to stand in your power. And because you are so abundant and the universe may, you know, I'm feeling that at some point in time, you may even felt that you wasn't grateful enough. But someone sees you like this also, Gemini. Someone sees you very abundant, very nourishing, very caring. So if they have been coming with this toxic energy and you're not entertaining it, whatever that codependency is, they're realizing they're about to lose an empress. This is the empress. This is someone that's able to nourish and care and get things off the ground. All around them, they're full of abundance, even financially, mentally, spiritually, guidance, joy, caring, loving, someone I'm hearing. I just heard that the light, someone, the light is someone's missing your energy, Gemini. Someone's missing how nourishing you have been because you chose to not put any more energy into something that you feel very bound and connected to, whether it's a relationship or job or a commitment, or family. And that's it. I can't make it up. And the Spirit told me to take all of these cards. Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords leads to the Ace of Swords, clarity and truth. You see it within yourself. And the hard times of all of these situations that may have led you to this toxic situation, even being bound to it, being involved in it, you know that it has only left you with sorrow, disappointment, seven of swords, deception, people trying to get away with things, not to, but Gemini, some of this energy is yours that you're releasing. Take it as it resonate, guys. But you feel good about it. That's the thing, because what you release in that, Look where you stand. This is you seeing you, right? And you had acceptance. This is accepting you for who you are. You don't have to downgrade yourself. You don't have to step to other people's level. If they don't want to be faithful, you don't, you don't have to turn around and be unfaithful. What you're going to do is walk away. You're going to disconnect from the devil. No more toxicity. You disappoint me, then I'm going to disappoint you by walking away. I'm going to take my power and my energy and I'm going to nourish it and care for it elsewhere because the light is here. You're seeing something so clearly here. And it's coming to an end. And you are the empress. Okay? Tell us more about this empress and the light spirit. Because Gemini is making changes with this eclipse. Or already have. Listen. Listen. Ten of cups. Your happiness is coming in. When it first fell out, 
like this. I was like, was it up or down? The spirit said, no, this is up. This is number happiness and joy. This is building a family. This is having something emotionally that truly makes you happy. No more selling for less. None, none, none of this. We're not selling for this. No codependency. Don't call me. You don't need me for this because I don't need you for that. Okay? That's what I'm hearing. I'm not putting the work in. We're calling it quits. Gemini, you calling something quits. I don't know what they've been doing. Okay. This is what I also heard, Gemini. Somebody been keeping you indulged in some other situation so that you wouldn't see the truth in others. I don't know, but the truth then came in because the light been <laughs> the light has been shown on a situation that you pretty much had your thoughts of ten of cups, completion, love, and happiness, and that probably wasn't easy for you at all. That is not easy for you to accept and end that cycle. For this new cycle to begin. That is truly what I'm seeing, Gemini. Okay? So, there's a cycle ending. There's love. There's commitment. There's joy. And even as, if it's just love within yourself. Like, you're realizing you got the Ten of Cups all on your own. That's a powerful love. The Empress and the Ten of Cups. And then, you're ending the old cycle, Ten of Swords. You're done with that. You're done with the deceptions. Look at this in reverse. No more carrying other people's burdens. You could care less. I mean, and people going to say, oh, you're selfish. I called you. You ain't answered the phone. I asked to borrow something from you. You ain't give it to me. Um, you acting funny now. Continue. Continue. Because guess what? You're ending the cycle of carrying other people's burdens. And they was manipulative anyway, Gemini. They only wanted what they can get from you. Not all. Because you do got the Ten of Cups. So you got Somebody got nothing but true love for you. There may be a commitment, cancer, Pisces, the Scorpio around you that's like, listen. <laughs> and, and I also feel they may be telling you, I'm dropping it all for you. Gemini, you may have somebody around you that's dropping everything that they got their hands on or committed to or working in because the light. They've seen that you're the better path. They've seen that they were spiritually guided to you. They've probably been through as much toxicity. Some people could have been alcoholics or whatever. You could be dealing with somebody. Got out of jail is what I'm hearing. You could have been dealing. I'm just saying. Now, let's not judge. Because I ain't judging nobody. Everybody goes through their time. But this person could have been an alcoholic. They could have been on drugs. They could have been in jail. Whatever it is, somebody is no longer working with the devil to share the love with you. And this could have definitely been you, Gemini, however you see it. I told you, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, there's the King of Cups stable and offering love to you, the light. And if you've had a situation, hmm, and maybe you've been waiting for a King of Cups to drop the burdens so that you could invest, and it don't have to be a Council of Pisces Scorpio. This is a person that is now emotionally available. Maybe they had a whole family. Maybe they wanted to build a family, and now they realize that if they're going to do anything, Gemini, it's going to be with you. That's what I'm hearing. Like the burdens of trying to find someone and build, and the passion, and in and out of relationships, and fighting and argument, the five of ones and waiting like that's over. And they're bringing in an offer towards you. This is what I'm hearing. They've been enlightened. They've, you know, and this could be you. This could be you pass of all that and understand that you're only going to deal with someone that is stable and balanced emotionally. Then you're not going to settle for less. All this taxivity and putting in work on people that are not showing up. Um, Third-party energies is what I'm hearing, right? Because, you know, the, the Ten of Swords come with everything. Lies, deception. Um, it comes with the fact of not knowing what you want to do with the Eight of Wands, being stuck. Um, it also comes with the Two of Swords. People are trying to decide if you're it. Like, you ain't waiting for none of that no more. You're done. Like, you are it, and you got one or two choices. You come this way or move out my way is what I'm hearing, Gemini. I love this energy for you, Gemini, and I feel this is you, stable in your emotions. 
because you've been through enough and you know exactly what you want. If it doesn't make you happy, you're gone. Look at this judgment. This is a judgment. This is Archangel Michael playing the trumpet. And some people, though, are going to come from the dead because they're going to see you, Gemini, and they want a piece of Gemini. Yeah, they do. They, they, they didn't know, now they do. Yes. Gemini, that's you. Aquarius, you could be dealing with Aquarius. It doesn't matter. This could be a legal situation, but whatever it is, it's facts. This is the fact. <laughs> Gemini, you're only dealing with facts now. You're not dealing with nothing else. What is the fact? You eat? Okay, that's a fact. We're not dealing with maybes, wannabes. I thought I wanted you. I'm going to leave someone for you. I think I want to deal with you. I got to work with you. I got to learn. You're not, you're only dealing with facts. How they show up is how you show up. Right? So the energy has changed, okay? Okay, yeah, you would match energies, but this here is the energy of facts. Lessons being learned. You know how you've been treated. You know how you've treated others. And this, I feel this is so strong. Look at this. You got the King of Cups. You have the King of Swords. Is this not the most clear, emotionally balanced in facts? Fact, I love you. Fact, I want you. Fact, I want to be with you, right? Emotionally, I love you. The truth is, I love you. The truth is, I'm emotionally available, right? And why? Because judgment. It's time. There's time for a change in your life, Gemini. Now, Gemini, I am hearing some of you, you know, I'm a plow plow for life. Okay. Your plow life. <laughs> okay, that's because you guard it, right? The nine of ones. You're like, look. I'm playing the field because I've been through enough and I don't got time for the shenanigans. So I get that. But the universe says it's over. If you choose it. Now everybody got free will, Gemini. I'm just saying. That's for some of you. Because I know some of you going to be in. Look at that. <laughs> I can't make it up. There's an offer coming towards you. Now, you say that's a page of cups. You have the king of cups. I feel this page of cups is someone nervous. This is somebody nervous. You know, it could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but this is someone got love for you and his childlike energy, and they is nervous if you are going to accept that offer. All right. Mm -hmm. Somebody wants to marry. Somebody wants to make a full-on commitment. But Gemini... This commitment is because they see you as an empress. I don't know what they've been dealing with or how they've been trying to move forward. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, in the past, they've been stuck. They may have been dealing with somebody in the past and they had to make a decision and the decision has been made to leave the past and come to you. They may have a family, a committed family, a marriage. I don't know. But this is what I'm hearing, Gemini. Somebody is choosing you. Somebody is choosing you. They're understanding that the past is exactly what it is. The past. Stop looking in a rearview mirror and look forward. That's what I'm hearing, Gemini. Somebody is choosing to look forward with you. All right? And that's under acceptance. What else we got here under this acceptance? Who, who is this person? What is they? Yeah, this this person because it came out for in reverse. This person knows all those other cups couldn't do it. You're doing it, Gemini. You are. I feel that that's why the choice is being made because I'm hearing what they have with you does not compare to all. It just doesn't. They couldn't even amount your energy. Your mind, your heart, of what they see, the acceptance of love and commitment and respect. Like in the past, they've been so disappointed. And this time they feel they're in a situation, it doesn't disappoint their heart. It doesn't disappoint that cup of love that they want to share. I always, so here someone trusts you, Gemini. Someone has a lot of trust in you. Or just maybe you, Gemini, you got a lot of trust in someone else. But what they're seeing is, 
I also feel like somebody was struggling in their mind, like, is this a soulmate? Like, they feel like you may have been, if you're in a relationship and somebody's telling you, like, I feel like I know you. I know you probably like, yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> Two of swords making that decision. Like, if they tell the truth or they own that, Gemini, I trust that energy. They feel like they were meant to meet you on this journey. It's acceptance. Okay? Let's see. What else we got here on the acceptance spirit for Gemini? Matter of fact, tell me, what, what does Gemini need to be thinking about when it comes to this acceptance? And someone's coming towards Gemini. Mm. First, we got nine of pentacles. This is what's showing up in reverse. Mm. Gemini, that two of swords could definitely be you. Do I give up my singlehood? Because I'm good. I have the nine of pentacles. Sometimes they say this is a person that is off balance and lost a lot and needs to start over or, you know, could just be keeping everything to themselves. No, I feel this nine of pentacles in reverse is a decision because it comes under the two of swords. It's a decision. Do we forget and not forget, but count our losses in the past and take another chance. I think you've been great on your own, doing the best you know how, but I do feel, Gemini, it has not been easy. I feel that you may have been robbing Peter to pay Paul at some point in time, but it doesn't matter. You felt good in your own energy. You didn't have to worry about each other, anyone else. So maybe you yeah, a little selfish energy because you were great. You were feeling good, a time of getting over something and accepting your abundance and how far you've come on your journey and the lessons you've learned. And I feel like you may have put all your time and energy to upgrading yourself and became very single and abundant. And now I feel like you're wondering, like, do I accept the fact something's coming in? Let's see what this card you don't know, Gemini. Mm. Three of Swords. See, that's the fear, Gemini. The fear of disappointment, that if I give up what I have, will I be disappointed again? I've got to get, because this is a three of swords, and it's not. Mm -hmm. Gemini, here's your answer. No, you will not be, Gemini. It's okay. The universe has your back. The universe is bringing you a love in unconditionally, full and overflowing. Okay? Now, I still feel with the Three of Swords coming out with that, Gemini, there's th there's maybe in the past a lot of third-party energies that has really scorned or broken your heart or disappointed you. I don't feel as it's like I can't get up and move on. I feel you got up and moved on from the Three of Swords to a very good commitment of your own love and happiness, and overflowing of your own cup, and that is why the universe is bringing it in. Now, some of you, Geminis, it led from heartbreak to you loving yourself more than ever before. You didn't even know you could love yourself like this. You've been going on vacations. You're going on trips. You had a job increase. Maybe you bought a new house, a new car. Your bank account is looking good. That heartbreak brought you to the power of love within yourself. Because you started out with the devil card. So there could have been a situation that you were very common, comic, um, comically connected to. That's over. And there was a lesson you had to learn in it, how to love yourself. So that you can be open and emotionally available. And I feel some of you now I want to come out of singlehood. You want a commitment. You get it. Then you know why you get it, Gemini? Because you're not going to settle for less. Help is on the way. I feel the help is on the way. Let's get some clarity in this help is on the way. You see how this hand reaches out? And I feel like because of the anger under there, there's been times where, Gemini, you were just pissed. You're like, I'm sick and tired of this. I'm not showing up for anyone anymore. I do more for others or I put my all in it and then it just backfires on me. And you were angry. You had to work through the anger to get back to balance, back to you. Like someone stole your joy. 
Someone stole your belief in love. Someone stole your belief in commitment. Someone stole your, I'm hearing your belief in a dream. There's a dream you had and you were so angry and tied up because something didn't work out. Whether it was a relationship or job, you had to change it. Maybe and I'm hearing some of you, I don't know who this is for, but I'm hearing some of you got pregnant and you didn't want to. You got pregnant by someone you didn't want to, then you met someone else. I don't know how other this resonates with you guys, but this is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing some of you have been by yourself for quite some time and just sitting in the fact of disappointment and hurt, but you've healed. And now the acceptance of how much you have to offer and the direction you're going in, it's like you are ready for this. Like you're not, you don't have to be afraid that somebody's going to dupe you because of, <laughs> I don't know, I'm just saying this, you're not, any duping going to be done, it's going to be you. <laughs> I'm just saying, don't do that, Gemini. You know, I'm just like, no. And that's why, listen, listen to, you know, your guidance. Uh, listen to, you know, some of you may have downloads, dreams, uh, people coming. Is I, I just feel like some of you may be even on a, a L or a bus or maybe even driving in your car and you hear something. There is a song or a, a bird just show up out of nowhere or something that lets you know like, this is the light. This is the right path. Just keep going. That is what I'm, I'm hearing, guys. All right, let's close this out. Okay, we're going to close it out with um, Soul Helper here. Ooh, that's a lot, Spirit. Okay, I'm going to take it. The first card says, enter the temple of your truth and learn to value it. That's it. This is it. This is you facing your truth, your love, the light is being shown, the acceptance of you, and that there is help there. The spirit wants you to just make that first step, or some of you already made that step. You're already in it, but with the two of swords, you've been kind of wanting to juggle, or maybe straddle the fence, and time's up for that. No, no more doing that, Gemini. Okay, to confirm. Yes, let's see. To confirm is, what is that? Conf oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Oh, hey. To confront is to die inside. Conform is to die inside. Why am I saying confirm? To confirm is to die inside. Be brave and be yourself. To confirm. Confront. Okay. To conform is to die inside. <sighs> yeah, something hurt some of you Gemini so bad that you never thought you could come back out and really face the world. Something was very embarrassing too. Some of it could have been married for a long time, a relationship, maybe you was in the limelight, maybe you thought you had this person or this perfect job or the perfect home and you had to start all over. But this is the confirm. It is to to die inside and to have a rebirth. Um, also, it's like with this lizard here, you're transforming. So you're you're fading in and out. People don't know who you are, Jim. Not right now. They don't even know how to take you right now. They don't know whether to love you or hate you at this time. But that's a, their problem, not a your problem. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> Next, we have a wonderful surprise is coming. I can't make it up. I told you, somebody loves you. Someone's coming towards you, Gemini. Something extremely new awaits you. This is a new journey. This is a new, look how beautiful. You can't see it all, Gemini. And I know, you're like, but I don't understand. But is this true? Should I go this direction? Should I go? Don't worry about it. What did I tell you? Look, you're going to be all right. Look. Help is on its way. Help is on its way, Gemini. You are beautiful. You're loving. You're caring. You've been through enough, Gemini. It's okay to open up. It's okay to not know all the answers. It's okay not to know how you're going to switch over this to that. Or you want this new car. How are you going to get... The universe is like, just, just be calm. Just relax. Help is on the way. There's a miracle coming your way, Gemini. There's a, 
a person that's coming into your life. And I'm not telling you that they have to be a lover. I'm telling you the universe is telling you there's help on the way. It's simple. That's just how it's happening. And you're going to have to be open and willing to accept it and see it. Make sure you don't turn a blind eye. This person has one eye open. Man, focus. Focus. We got to focus on the one eye fine. But don't turn away from it because the universe is sending in some help. And you definitely don't want. And some of that help is to get you past some of that anger and that hurt and disappointment that you've carried within yourself. What is the next card? Have courage. Have courage. I can't make this up, guys. Have courage. The universe is like, okay. And I, when I'm feeling like have courage is the moon card. Like you can't see everything in the dark. But you have enough light to just stay on the path, Gemini. You have enough light. And then it says, follow the path of your soul. That's acceptance. That's the acceptance card. This clarifies this whole reading. If this reading resonates with you guys, please give me a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know where you're at. If you've been through this or you're feeling it or you're claiming it, definitely claim it. Put it out into the universe. If you've been in a place of a doubt or not sure if you should go left or right or who's here and who's there, if this is a special endeavor within your heart and your mind of healing and releasing toxic energies or whatever it may be for you. Claim it, release it, love it, and move forward, Gemini, because the acceptance of you, which is beautiful, you're beautiful. Look in the mirror, do you some affirmations in the mirror, say I'm beautiful and I'm waiting for this new adventure, the light to be shown, my heart to be open, the healing, accept that. And you accept you for who you are because follow the path of your soul. Look in the mirror. Say it in affirmation. I accept this and I follow the path of my soul. And that's what I have for you, Gemini. Definitely let me know if it resonates. Love and light, Gemini. Bye.